Okay, we're on to the next project here. There's actually two projects. I'm in Hudson Falls at the Borolex Hydro facility where a good friend of mine works. And we're going to, he's uh, right there, monkeying with the loader. So we got two things going on. We're gonna put a community garden in Argyle and Borolex was, was generous enough to donate um, a, a big culvert pipe that they have that they don't have a use for. And we're gonna slice that up and make raised beds for this uh, community garden out of it. So, so first thing we're gonna do is load that pipe on my trailer. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow their loader and their fork extensions, which are also gonna go on my trailer. We're gonna drive up into Hudson Falls where um, the Argyle Youth Commission has received donation of a gazebo. So we're gonna, uh, with any luck, we're gonna pick up the gazebo Set it on the trail, another guy's trailer, and probably, probably strap it down and head off to Argyle with it and see how many power lines and bridges we can run into on the way. I don't really know how big it is. I'm not really in charge of the project. I'm along for the ride, but uh, it looks like Dave is ready for me to do some work. So I got to get. You know, it's a, it's a, always amazing to me. Uh, the generosity of people, and in this case, companies. Well, and people too. Dave's given his time here. Uh, you know, these guys didn't have a use for that, so they're they're going to give it to us. They know we got a good use for it. And then the other thing is a is a gazebo that was donated, and and uh, that's that's pretty cool. The uh, youth commission is going to put it at their ball fields, and you know, to give people a shady spot in the summer during baseball season, they can they can. Uh, Sit and watch the games. Dave's gonna get this loaded on there. Dave's a lot better loader operator than I am skid steer operator, that's for sure. So we're gonna get that on, we'll throw some straps on and we'll be on our way. All right, I didn't have much time to set up this shop, but you can see the guys of our had already picked up one side, set it on blocks and just as slick as anything, we grabbed it with the loader and set it on the trailer. And uh, we actually did decide to put a couple straps on it and maybe hold it in place. And that gazebo has never gone so fast. Nothing to see here. Just a shed. Going 50 miles an hour. <laughs> so far so good. Having even lots of shingles. Okay, I had to run home quick. The gazebo should be waiting for me at the ball field. I followed it almost all the way there. So, um, but the loader that we had there was awesome, worked perfectly, but uh, I couldn't bring it back. We couldn't come back here with it. It's too far to drive it. It had to stay in Hudson Falls. That loader lives uh, in Hudson Falls there at the, at the Borolex plant. So now that we're back in Argyle, we're gonna try to unload it with my little Kubota. If we can't unload it with that, then uh, we'll leave it for tonight and then tomorrow we'll get a second tractor. We can at least get it picked up and get the trailer out from under it and uh, we'll deal with the rest later. If we have to get a bigger loader to get it in place, then we'll do that. But I, I think I think my tractor can pick it. I got that huge concrete counterweight on the back. Uh, I should either pick it up or break in half. So I'm not sure how that'll go, but we're about to find out. Well, unfortunately, yeah, I guess fortunately too, we've got a beautiful sunset uh, that's really screwing up this shot, but you get the idea. We got it off the trailer. We got it in place. A couple, couple guys had to stand on the back at one point, but uh, we got it. Anyways, and there she is. Done deal. All right, a gazebo project is done for me anyways, my part. Um, I guess the town... Highway guys are going to come with the big loader uh, once they get the thing stained and ready to set in place. And they're going to uh, set it up on a, a, a hill that's there. And I think we may have a line on some more gazebos. So I guess we'll, we're gazebo collectors now. Uh, but we'll see. If I can help, I will. Um, I try to be helpful when I can. My hero Red Green always says, if the women don't find you handsome, at least they should find you helpful. So that's it for that. Uh, we'll see if we can help the Youth Commission anymore. 
uh, on other projects. And if you like what you see on the channel, please go down and click subscribe because that's how it works.